What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Johnny Blaze suggested two weapons here, the Bruin MK9 with the conversion kit and also the ISO Hemlock. It's been quite some time since we've used an LMG here in zombies so I think it's time to check out this Bruin MK9. Before we get into the build I'm using for the Bruin, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking Unlocking the MW3 Mastery Camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis Camo or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, Playstation and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the Bruin MK9 is as follows, we're using the Jack Shadow Titan conversion kit which greatly increases your mobility at the cost of some ammo. We're running this thing stockless for a huge boost to our mobility. The Kaimura RYL33 laser light for the fastest possible ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. The DR6 hand stop underbarrel for some extra ADS speed. And last but not least we're using the Bruin Q900 rear grip for a bit of extra ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Thank you again to Johnny Blaze for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. So now that we went over the build I'm using for the Bruin MK9 I'd say it's time to head over to the tier 3 zone and the Elder Dark Ether to see how this thing performs so I'll see you all there. Alright boys we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see we've got a couple zombies behind us so let's see how this thing is performing. There we go. Okay not not bad not bad. How many shots is that? One two like Oh, hold up. Three, four, four shots to get the kill. It's actually not bad at all. Yeah, great for taking out groups of zombies. All right, let's pick up this bounty contract right here, and uh, hopefully we get a mega abomination or something. Come on, give us that mega. Come on, come on. And we got a mega. Let's go. Perfect. All right, got this scorcher, so we're going to be burning through these contracts really quick. And the mega is going to spawn right back there, which is actually great. So we can just land on those buses, trigger his laser attacks, and we should have the kill in no time. Depending how this thing performs, but I do think it's going to rip through him. Let's test this out. There we go. Laser attacks coming in. Beautiful. Already destroyed one of his faces. Let's come over to this side here. Another laser attacks coming in. Come on, set those shots. Oh, he's so weak. Come on. There we go. Two faces destroyed. Yeah, this thing is performing really well, man. Let's come over here now. There we go. Focus on that final face. Yeah, we're just ripping through his health bar. This gun is feeling good. Can we get it with this laser attack, maybe? Close. There we go. Nice. Let's see what he dropped for us. Nothing on the ground. Stick these guys out, except for that rear tool, of course. Um, self-revive and normal sigil I will take. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll throw on Shatter Blast, because why not? Let's go. Alright, let's see if there's another bounty contract somewhere. No. Alright, there is that raid weapon stash, though. So, let's start making our way over there. Hopefully, a bounty contract spawns in here soon. Oh, yep, bounty contract just spawned in back there. Let's go. Hell yeah. Nice, got the contract. Let's see what target we get off this one. And it's a Mimic. Nice. So he's going to be right up ahead in that little build. No? Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. He's going to be upstairs there. Awesome. Alright, Mimic. Okay. Alright. I guess, uh, guess this thing really is OP. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that happens, man. It's been happening a lot lately. Bounty targets just die when you get close to them. Um, okay, no bounty contract anywhere. Let's get that raid weapon stash contract done then. Usually a good way to test how this thing performs against groups. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. There's a bounty contract right behind us. Definitely gonna grab that. Let's go. We keep getting close to picking up that raid weapon stash, man. Uh, lucky day for us. There we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. Hopefully it's a Mangler or a Disciple and it's a Mega. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. He's going to spawn back there. Awesome. All right, Mega. 
There he is. He just spawned in. Let's try to land on these rocks here, maybe. There we go. Laser attacks coming in already. Set those criticals. Nice. Already destroyed one of his faces. Yeah, this thing is insane, man. Damage output is just crazy good. Really high fire rate, too. Alright. Let's try to trigger another. No. That's not going to work. Come on, Mega. We need another laser attack from you. Come on. Yo, even when you're not hitting criticals, you're still eating into his health bar. This thing's really good. Alright, let's bring him over here. Throw that. There we go. Nice, he's gonna charge into us. Alright, come on, Mega. Okay, let's hit those criticals. Thank you. Destroyed two faces. Yeah, this thing is just insane. That's gonna be it. Should get the kill with this one. Ooh, that was a short laser attack, but we still got the kill. Quick and easy. Now right, let's see what we get. Speed Cola and extra self revive I will take, because why not? Let's see if there's another bounty somewhere. Nope. Alright. I might go cancel out some of those sport control contracts. I might get a few more bounties to spawn in. There's only one active bounty. So, yeah, let's go do that. There we go. Right after canceling that, a bounty contract spawned in. Awesome. Let's go. And luckily, there's no one in the tier 3 right now, so. Smooth sailing so far. There we go, got the contract. Let's see what target we get off of this one. And it's another Mega. Okay, getting a lot of Megas today. Where's he gonna be? Way back there, alright. Shouldn't take us too long to get over there, thanks to this little scorcher. Man, I love having this thing, I swear. <laughs> Every time it's off cooldown, I just have to grab it. Again? Yo, what is this? I'm not going to complain, but damn. Alright, let's see what we got here. Brain Rot and Extra Sigil. I'll take that. Um, I'll leave the three plate in there. That's fine. Alright, is there another bounty? Nope. There's an Outlast. Uh, okay. Let's make our way over to that Raid Weapon Sash. We're probably going to get a bounty contract to spawn in while flying over there. And there we go. I called it. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Alright, can we make it? Oh, no. We missed. God damn it. There we go, got the contract. Hopefully we can actually fight this target, and it's a mangler. Okay, nice, where's he gonna be at? Oh, dang, we went the wrong way. So, uh, so far we fought one Mega Abomination, and all the other targets just got insta-killed. Nice. Definitely some easy tier 3 contracts right there. There we go, Mega's right there, or mangler rather. Let's try to hit his arm cannon, there we go. Yeah, yep. Now we can hit those criticals since we broke his armor. Come on, halfway dead. Yeah, it's the fire rate on this thing too, man. Coupled with that high damage output, just overall a great... Are we out of ammo? Hold up. There we go. Alright, we, uh, we need to try to get some ammo here, boys. There we go. Let's throw that. Drop some ammo for us. No, there we go. Okay, he died. Awesome. <laughs> that works. I'm um, an epic tool in there. Uh, no, I'll leave that. We're good, we're good. We have like three more legendary tools in our acquisition stash, so we are Gucci. Alright, no bounty contract anywhere at the moment. We do have this little mega abomination right here though, so you know what? Let's quickly take that guy out. Why not? Have some fun. There we go, laser attacks coming in. Focus on that phase, beautiful. Already destroyed it. <laughs> That's just insane. Set those criticals there. Beautiful. More than halfway dead. Let's take out some of these zombies. I'll have to actually focus on picking up ammo. So that seems to be the only downside with this build, right? It's just ammo. But I guess if you focus on picking up ammo, you should be fine. There we go. Kill the Disciple. Some more ammo on the ground right there. Beautiful. Let's throw that. Get some distance. There we go. Nice. Ooh, got a Mimic on us too. Two Mimics. Let's go. Oh, dang. Three Mimics, hold up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this gun is just ripping through everything at this point. I'm loving it. Great mobility, too. An ADS speed is just ridiculously fast, considering this is an LMG. Let's throw that. There we go. Pull him back here real quick. Perfect. All right, Mega, we need one more laser attack from you. That's all I'm asking for, dude. Yeah, come on. Quickly pull him over here. Should be able to trigger laser attacks back here. Just don't want him to despawn. 
Actually, no, I won't risk it. Let's just rip through him. Even without criticals, we can still make it. <laughs> Alright, let's run back here. Ooh, little mangler up ahead. Laser attack's coming, let's go. And there we go, killed the mangler. Er, mega. Dang. <laughs> there we go. Now we're killing- okay, never mind, we turned the mangler. Awesome. Yeah, this thing gets a solid 10 on 10, man. This thing is insane. The only issue I'm seeing is ammo, but other than that, damage output is just great. And I mean, like I said, if you actually focus on picking up ammo from the zombies you kill, you'll be fine. Alright, let's go get that bounty contract back there. There's one other person in the tier 3, so that's not too bad. Let's go pick this contract up. Hopefully we get a disciple off this one. I think that's the only target we haven't had so far. So let's quickly drop down here. Come on, give us a disciple. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we get. And it's another mega. Dude, we are getting a lot of megas this game. Damn. Ooh. Thought the game was about to crash right there. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully not. Alright, let's come over here. There we go, mega spawned in. We can actually fight this one. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Let's get his attention. Nice. Laser attacks coming in. Destroyed one of his faces already. Let's quickly climb on top of this LTV. Another laser attacks coming in. Beautiful. Two faces destroyed. Two one more to go. Come on, Mega. Hit us with that laser attack. Come on. There we go. Let's focus on that face. We might get the kill with this one. Yup. There we go. Yeah, this thing is just crazy good. Let's see what we get here. Stamina up, precision airstrike, and another epic tool. Not bad, not bad. Uh, no bounty contract anywhere. You know what? I'll quickly go cancel out this spore contract and see if we can get another bounty to spawn. I mean, come on. Who actually does spore contracts? Like, seriously. <laughs> there we go. Got the spore. Oh, bounty actually just spawned in when we picked that up. Let's go. Let's cancel this one. There we go, bruh. There we go. Nice, got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time, and it's a Mangler. Nice. Good to switch things up a bit. Hopefully we can actually fight this one and he doesn't just get insta-killed. And uh, after this, we only have to do a Disciple, and then we did all the bounty targets you can get, which is great. So yeah, my rating of 10 out of 10 is definitely not changing anytime soon. We'll see how it is in the Elder Dark Aether though, but I don't think we'll have any issues over there. Let's light this guy up. There we go. Damaged his arm cannon. Nice. Set those criticals. More than halfway dead. About a quarter of his health bar left. Let's just risk it. Let's risk it. Uh, and there we go. We got it. <laughs> nice. PhD flopper. Speed cola and a precision airstrike. All right, now I'll leave that in there. Okay, and another bounty contract spawned in. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm loving the action with this run, man. This is great. Alright, come on. Give us a disciple. I hate fighting disciples, but for testing purposes, we're gonna pray. There we go. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. I'm predicting these things, bruh. Alright, disciple. I'll see you. I'll see you. Let's throw that. Did a mimic just... That guy just spawned on the disciple, huh? Okay. Let's quickly come... Oh, dang. Did not mean to fall down there. Oh, man. There we go. Hitting them shots. Oh yeah, dead wire is great against Disciples, man. It comes in handy, I swear. There we go, let's throw that. Disciples about halfway dead already. Let's quickly light up this Mimic. Come on, Mimic, why'd you have to do that to us, bro? Really? Alright, let's come over here. There we go. Oh, nice. Disciples healing. Cancel to that. Beautiful. Throw another one of them blades. Keep lighting up this guy. Come on. It's got about a quarter of his health bar left now. Which is insane. And... Oh, he's healing. Wait, what? Dude was healing sideways. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, stop moving, dude. Cancel his heal. We should be able to get the kill here now. Just a few more shots, and there we go. Nice. Extra self revive and a pack one crystal. Yo, the loot isn't too special today, huh? What is going on? 
All right, let's see. No more bounty contracts anywhere. Uh, we have one Casimir. Uh, I'll quickly hit the buy station, buy an extra. And uh, if we don't get a bounty contract to spawn in, then I'll probably just go to the Elder Dark Ether. Nope, one just spawned in. Nice. And we got the Casimir, so we are ready for our Elder Dark Ether run. I guess we'll do this one, and then we'll head over there. Always good to get that containment level up, which is very difficult for me to do since I always down myself at the end of every game so I can give away these schematics, but you know, it's it's still doable. You just have to do a lot of contracts. There we go, let's see what target we get. Come on, come on, and there we go, another disciple, okay, nice, I like it, I'm not gonna complain. And he's gonna be over at the gas station, close to it, okay, nice. Alright, disciple, I see you there, bro. Let's throw that. Oh my god, insta-kill, bro. Get wrecked. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, this whole lobby's been bugged, I swear. Look at that! Now we're getting packet burst? Yo. I think this Bruin actually broke the game. <laughs> Alright. Let's come over here to the portal. Hopefully <laughs> the Elder Dark Ether is less buggy, but I doubt it. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's come over here. Quickly use our Elder Sigil. There we go, except the teleport. Now we'll drop a Casimir, stow it, and then we'll have three. So I'll see you all in the tier five zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Elder Dark Ether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here and climb this container, go through this window, and this is where you find the first contract being the bounty contract. So most of the time you will get a Mega Abomination, which spawns over at C8 on the map. And uh, he's in a very foggy area, which kind of makes it difficult to fight him off and all the zombies that are spawning on you. So, I have a little strategy to take this guy out, which makes it super easy. Just fly over here, or of course just run if you don't have a Scorcher, right? And just come over here, very nice. There we go, hit a few shots on the Mega, try to lure him over to this area back here. He should come running any second now. There we go, he's coming, he's coming. Just a bit slow, but you know, just a bit slow. Come, come on, Mega. Yo, hurry up, dude. <laughs> what is this? Oh, let's get a bit closer. Maybe we're too far to actually get him to come. Yeah, there we go. Oh, laser attack's already coming in. We'll have to break it. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Alright, so once you get him aggroed on you, just start running up this hill and over to this parking lot area right here. And as you can see, you're no longer in the fog, which makes it super easy to fight that guy. Then uh, there's two rooftops that I like to jump between. So there's this one right here, and then there's that rooftop back there. You can just keep climbing up and trigger laser attacks from up here, which is great, unless he's in a bad spot like he is for us right now. So let's just quickly jump down and lure him over to this side here. There we go, laser attacks actually coming in, so let's quickly take advantage of that. Come on, a few more shots. Should get the break here any second. Almost, almost. Let's quickly play it up. Beautiful. Let's bring him over to this side here. He's going to charge into us. No problem. Alright, let's climb up here. Should be able to get a laser attack from here. Yep, there we go. Let's focus on that. Yep, already broke that second face. Great. Come on, Mega. One more laser attack, dog. Come back here. There we go. Laser attack's coming in. Let's focus on that final face. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left now. Definitely eating into his health bar. There we go, let's throw that, quickly come over to this side here. Once again, we're just going to climb up this rooftop. Uh, he might be a bit too close to get a laser attack going. Maybe? Uh, not sure. Let's quickly throw that blade. There we go, laser attack's coming in, we also have a disciple on us. Come on, oh my god, so close. Either blade would probably finish him now. There we go. <laughs> Quick and easy. Got a extra cell for a dog bone? I'll just call the dog in. Why not? Let's do that. There we go. See if there's anything on the ground. A sentry gun. Uh, just take it. Why not? And yeah, nothing too special over there. Let's quickly take out this disciple. Yeah. Yeah, my rating of 10 out of 10 is not going to change for this thing. This thing is just insane. Great mobility and insane damage output. So, once you finish that contract, make your way over to this rooftop right here, which is E7 on the map. 
There's three ways you can get up here. There's the staircase you can take from downstairs. You can also come up this ladder. Or, of course, if you have a Scorcher, just quickly fly up here. Pick up the contract that's going to ping the P&D device, which is located over at the diner. Then we're just going to use our Scorcher here. You could also just jump and parachute off that rooftop and come into this foggy area right here. Run up the hill and go over to the P&D. But since we have the Scorcher, we might as well use it, right? So let's come over here, get the P&D activated, and there we go. Now my preferred strategy for finishing this contract is just to run back into the kitchen here and climb on top of these freezers and just sit in this corner. All the zombies are going to run right over here and start piling up here. You might have a few of them throwing their meat at you. Um, our dog is actually acting as a decoy right now. Yo, he's, he's clapping all of these zombies right now. Let's go. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so if you don't have a dog, they'll just all pile up right there, which is great. It makes this contract super easy. There we go. We're actually going to help out our dog a bit. Doesn't even look like he needs any help, to be honest. <laughs> Quickly take that guy out. There we go. Ooh, where is our dog? Did he die? No. There's no way he's dead, right? No, no, no. We're getting XP from him. Let's go. But yeah, this is definitely a very easy contract to do. Just take your time. Don't take any unnecessary risks, and I'll see you guys once I'm done with the contract. There we go, contract complete. Once that finishes, most of the zombies are gonna die. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Mag of Holding, I will definitely take. Let's drop that. Self revive for it, and uh, Cryo Freeze, I will leave in there. Alright, so once you finish that contract, it's time to make our way over to the third and final contract, being the Ether Extractor contract. Now, there's a few ways you can get up there. There's an ether tear right in there, also another one in that building, or that one I think, rather. Um, you could take the staircase inside the mall and get up here, you could come up through the parking garage right back there, or of course just use a scorcher if you have one. Pick up the contract and start running west immediately, and as you can see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. So if you don't have a scorcher, just keep running and then parachute over in this direction here. And then from here, you can just throw a Casimir at the floor like that. There we go. It's going to pull in all the zombies, and more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. Then just start running towards the second extractor. Open up your bag and equip that extra Casimir to make sure you have two equipped. And just keep running in this direction and throw Casimir right at that wall. It's going to bounce off and pull in all the zombies again. So yeah, the Casimir is pretty much do all the work for you. And just run over in this direction, like so, and throw another Casimir at the ground next to the extractor. And there we go, that's pretty much contract complete. Very nice. Now let's just wait for that to blow, and there we go. Let's see what we got off that. Uh, blood burner key plans, I will take. That VR-11 is looking kind of juicy, but I have a bunch of those already, so definitely don't need that. Um, let's quickly drop a self revive. I guess I'll take the pack two crystal. Why not? Yeah, definitely a very easy tier three and Elder Dark Ether run here today. This Bruin MK9 performed very well. My rating for it is going to be 10 out of 10. Definitely a great gun, great damage output, great mobility. Just overall a nice gun to use. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did then be sure to hit that like button, it really helps out, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.